In today's video, we are going to be making these awesome T-Rex hands to go along with our T-Rex sliders and our dinosaur costume for our virtual carnival. Um, so all you'll need to make this today is some toilet roll tubes. I've used um, kitchen roll instead because it's slightly longer. So ki two kitchen roll tubes, um, some cardboard, some newspaper, some masking or packing tape. Um, and if you want to coat them in mud rock or paper mache, some newspaper and some PVA glue. And then obviously I've decorated them using some ac acrylic paints. So that's all you need for these. They're fairly easy and simple to make. They look really effective, but honestly, they're super easy to make. And if you used my previous tutorial for my dinosaur sliders, it's very similar techniques that we're using here. The same dry brushing or painting technique and the same um, newspaper modeling technique to make them 3D. Awesome, so I hope you enjoy this video guys, stay tuned. So taking two um, kitchen roll tubes, you're gonna create four finger-like shapes which look like little hooks, two for each hand. Now I've chosen a thick tube here, which is more like a wrapping paper tube. You can choose whatever you'd like. You can make your arm as long as you'd like. Um, you can either choose to glue or tape your fingers either side of the tube, or you could even get a split pin, push it through either side, and that will make the digit movable. So use what you'd like, tape, glue, or split pins. I'm going to use my trusty... Um, glue gun just to make this a little bit quicker. So uh, I'm going to stick those fingers either side of the tube and I'm going to fan them out slightly so that they create like a really cool and creepy shape. Once you've glued them either side like this and you have a matching pair, you can then think about decorating it while the glue's drying here, while I'm pressing the, the cardboard into the tube to show you. You could leave them like this and paint them and that would leave you with a nice 2D version of the hands that I'm creating. Or you could start to use newspaper, pad them out using um, masking tape and that will give you more of a 3D image like this one here. I think that the 3D version is really effective because of the scale that it creates. But you can decide to stick with the 2D version or the 3D version like this. Once you've done all of the padding and you've covered them in masking tape, you can then add paper mache or mud rock, whichever you'd prefer. I have covered my um, T-Rex hands in uh, mud rock, but you could use paper mache, remember? They are almost dry, and I would always say make sure the mud rock dries before you paint it. The same with paper mache. I'm going to cover it in the same colour base coat that I did my T-Rex feet, and I'm going to do a very similar dry brushing technique to decorate it so that they match, so that eventually I'll be creating a full dinosaur getup. 
wait for my tail video to come out very soon this week too. So I'm mixing a very dark olivey green as my base coat. I'm using acrylic paints. Um, you could choose uh, not to paint them if you don't want to. I think this, this just uh, makes them look a lot better. So I'm gonna paint them in a base coat in fast motion um, and then we're gonna do the dry brushing technique, okay? So we've made it to this stage where my olivey green base coat colour is done. I've dragged a little bit of grey onto his claws just so they don't look so pristine white. I'm now going to dry brush some colours just like I did with my T-Rex feet um, onto these arms so that they look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to be using a very light bright green, a orangey browny colour, oh you can just just about see, um, a lemony bright yellow colour, a burgundy red with a bit of a dark blue to make kind of like a shade colour. And I'm just going to dry brush with a big dry um, bristly rough brush all over. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit of me doing that in fast motion and then more or less our hands are finished. So once I finished painting them, I made sure that they dried. Um, I just wanted to show you a close-up detail of the dry brushing and how that the texture of the, I use mud drop, but you could also use paper mache. The texture of um, whatever you coat your um, T-Rex hand in gives a really nice um, skin, like reptile skin quality when you use the dry brushing technique. And you can see the sort of colours that I was using, that really bright acid neon green, that really light yellow, there's that browny burgundy colour, this little bit of orangey brown that I've used here. Stick to the shades that are going to sit well together. Um, these are a perfect match for our T-Rex sliders, I've painted them in the very similar shades and colours. Um, and I've just done a little bit of dry brushing of some grey and some yellow on his claws just so that they don't look so yellow and fake looking. So there you go, there's the close up of what they look like. You can see the 3D shape that I've made here. Even if you don't get this 3D shape perfect, I don't think it really matters. I think the more kind of odd this shape of the finger is, the better it is, it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Okay guys, so here are our finished 
T-Rex hands, T-Rex arms. I think they came out really well. So you can see that they are 3D. They are a perfect match for our dinosaur or T-Rex sliders that we made in the previous video. Slowly we're building up a full dinosaur outfit. So let me show you close up the claws, the coloring from the dry brushing technique that we've used in our previous video. They're pretty awesome. They are 3D. They're nice and strong, so they're not gonna break. And I've made sure that I made the length of these um, rolls to hold on to long enough to do this, okay? So if you pull your arm inside the sleeve of your top and you pull this also inside the sleeve of your top, hide your hand, you now have your own T-Rex arm, yeah? So you can play with how long you want your tubes to be. If you want to make them shorter, you can gather them up inside your sleeve of your top and you can make shorter arms like this. I think they turned out really well. You guys are gonna have loads of fun playing with these here. If you'd like, you can make a version with three um, digits instead of two. You could obviously put an additional one underneath here or to the side and that will give you your three digit T-Rex hand or dinosaur hand. I went with the um, classic two fingers. They're pretty cool. You can pick up some things with them too. I'm gonna try and pick up my phone here. Let's try and pick up my phone, hey? Oh, close. If my pop socket wasn't up, it would work. Oh, and now I'm clicking all sorts of buttons. But anyway. Awesome little piece of the puzzle to add to our dinosaur outfit. I hope you have loads of fun making these here. Have a good week.